All right, welcome to my channel, you guys. Welcome to Product Focus Friday. This month we are playing with Allie Edwards and our knickknacks. Now, since I failed hardcore last week, I am going to make it up by doing two videos this over the weekend. So today you are getting what should have been last week. So last week we were gonna be playing with doilies and the prompt for Scrap Timber was a uh, pattern paper background. So we're gonna stick with that for this layout. And then the next one you'll see, I don't know if it'll be up tonight, but it'll be up this weekend, will be um, the prompt for today, which is monochrome for Scrap Timber. That's day 23. Um, but we're going to pretend it's day 16 still. <laughs> so day 23, monochrome. And the knickknack we're playing with is thread and twine. So, ooh, that'll be fun. I wonder what I can do. So that, yeah, I've got plans. So that is what um, we're doing. So I am going to go grab my Allie Edwards stuff um, just because that's the focus. So we just want to use Allie Edwards stuff. Don't have to only use Allie Edwards stuff. I still got stuff everywhere. Um, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab a giant doily because I want to do a big old doily on here. And <laughs> these group pictures are so funny. We're going to scrapbook um, these two group photos. I don't know if I want to, I think I want to do something like that on my page. Like just skew the one because I don't need that bush, but I liked that it was a big photo. Um, so we're going to do something with those two photos. And a big old doily and we'll go from there so I'll be right back okay so I've gone in to my recent uh, numbers kit from Allie Edwards and I just love I love this paper especially for a background I think it's great because it's numbers and the colors are fantastic and then I rated my scrap stash because I found I wanted to grab some of these colors that were in the background and make them pop a little so I found this gray paper. I believe this is an Amy Tangerine paper and it was already cut like this. I'm not going to do anything. I'm literally just going to lay it behind my doily to add just kind of a base. Um, and then I have my giant doily. I matted this photo in one of the um, six by eight papers that came in the kit. It's like a yellow print and it kind of had uh, blotches of darker yellow, lighter yellow, but it's all numbers. Um, these are all first grade class, so I figured numbers would be okay. And then I grabbed these scraps, and they're just like this. This is the only one that I actually cut. It was a bigger piece, and I just cut a strip off it, and I cut it crooked, I can see, but it doesn't matter. This was already torn. This was from a paper pad. Um, this is my mind's eye, I believe. This is a very old collection. I don't remember what that one is, or a, I think a designing company that doesn't exist anymore but I liked just the layering behind my photo I still think I might mat this in white I gotta find I don't know if I have a big enough white chunk I might somewhere um, to mat this um, but I want to use up some of the numbers that come came in this kit. So, well, first, so you got a pack of these gold numbers, 1 through 10, I believe. So I grabbed the 1 and 4, and I grabbed my Indigo and Ivy Gold Alphas because I have just enough to do first forever because it's the first grade class. Um, and then in with those gold numbers, there were also these fun icons, and they all, like, match so I grabbed these out. We're going to add these somewhere. I've grabbed my Allie Edwards other bins. So I'm going to grab labels, tags, whatever else I can find out of here to also add to the page. But I wanted to get all these layers put down first and show you guys that. I'm still trying to figure out if I want, or do I have a dark blue I can add that on? A dark blue scrap would be, or even a dark gray would be nice to bring some of that in. I don't, I should go back to my scrap bin. Let me go grab my scrap and let me find a paper to mat this on and um, this photo and then we'll go from there. But I've got my doily and I definitely have pattern paper background full show. So we've got that covered. So let me get, um, yeah, this photo matted. I'm going to get stuff glued down and read my stash of Allie Edwards stuff and figure out what else I can add to this. All right. I think we're done except for I might add some splatters. So 
I've got, I grabbed, there were some tickets and this lovely little journaling spot. So I glued that down. I popped this um, flower up on some foam as well as my little sun. I wanted to use it. I didn't want to not use it. I just put the camera under here and as well as a sticker that said forever. So it says first forever friends. Um, and then um, house and I grabbed, there were some words. I had, I have a bunch of word stickers. This one's from a week in the life. Um, collection from a few, I think a few years ago. I got, I got a bunch of stuff from Allie Edwards when she had like a clearance sale for Black Friday. It's a lot of grab bags. So you just got a lot of goodies that are like, could be used for everything. So I grabbed some words off here. This one says together. This is just the little black hearts. And then this one says strength of spirit, which I really, really liked. Um, and then I journaled right there just a little bit. And then I think we're going to add some gold splatters and that is it. So and I have the Dina Wakely Gloss Spray in Guilt. I had one, and I think actually something might have been wrong with my first one because it did not, it did not look as gold as this one does. It looked way more orange. So I'm glad I ordered a different one and I just replaced it. So I don't know if the mixing was wrong or something. I don't know. Well, this one has a ball in it, so I can shake it. Yes, it's gonna create bubbles. But it's, it's a media gloss spray, so it's more of an acrylic, so you need to shake it. It's like having a spray can. You can't just roll it. It won't mix. So then, <laughs> we're going to just, since I have those gold numbers, we're just going to add oop, a few gold splatters. And we'll turn. We'll clean off the photo. How about you guys? There is last week's video. Um, like I said, I will hopefully have this week's up for you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.